Chicago crime is something very crazy in the United States. Chicago, just like New York City, you could do mass shoplifting and nothing is really done. The cops also have their hands full and a lot of the cops, in fact, not just have their hands full, but they simply just don't care, right? You also have Chicago spending hundreds of millions of dollars on the migrant crisis without spending that money on the shoplifting. I guarantee you, if Chicago spends hundreds of millions of dollars on improving the south side of Chicago, open stores, supporting local businesses, cut down on crime, Chicago will be a very nice place to live. Chicago has had multiple wake-up calls, with some of the biggest and high-end corporations leaving, citing the crime rate. Chicago could have every store closed and not care at all, but right now they're going broke. Check this out, Chicago, massive sale at Louis Vuitton and Bloomingdale's. It's nice to see high-end stores giving back. Basically, these luxury stores are getting robbed on a constant basis. There's a lot of organized crime in New York City. People basically go into these stores and just loot the crap out of these stores. Look at the amount of people just running out of the Louis Vuitton store. Tens of thousands of dollars of merchandise is basically gone in one stroke. And as long as these stores like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes continue to get shoplifted, they're not making a profit. And of course, we live in a capitalist market. If a store is not making a profit, you close them down. In fact, many stores in Chicago are already closing. We're seeing many of these high-end stores closing their doors and never coming back. Seems like Chicago, New York City, San Francisco are all facing the same thing. So much incredible leniency on shoplifters. So much to the point that whole entire businesses and malls collapse. This is the new Chicago, new New York City. And check this out. People are also saying, New York, Chicago, you spent so much money on the migrant crisis. Why can't you spend a little money on us? City-owned grocery store could be coming to Chicago's south side food deserts, which is infamous because you can't find a single fresh produce grocery store in whole entire zip codes. Why is that? It's because the shoplifting is so crazy high. It's so high to the point that many of these stores simply leave. You can't make a profit. You could sell a bunch of items, but then you got people coming to ruin your store and shoplifting like en masse. You can't make a profit. Even the Save-A-Lot closed. The KFC has closed. So many stores are closing. And these aren't even mom and pop stores. Some of these are chain stores with millions of dollars back in them. But they can't survive in a heavy shoplifting environment. Chicago spends hundreds of millions of dollars on, for example, the migrant crisis. And many people are saying, where is this city-owned grocery store that you proposed and talked about? It's already been almost half a year. You can't even spend two to three million dollars to just open a simple grocery store. I mean, this is what's happening in Chicago. Many citizens are fed up. They're also saying that where is Chicago right now? Why is Chicago doing this? And now you also have the CME group is preparing to leave Chicago. Guys, Chicago is calling the bluff on every single one of these big corporations. A couple years ago, Citadel is like, Chicago really needs to fix its crime rate or else they'll leave. Chicago didn't care at all. And Citadel left for Miami and is constructing one of the biggest hotels in Miami. That's a big W for Miami. Guggenheim is the same thing. They're like, crime rate is so high, we might leave. Chicago didn't care. Guggenheim, one of the biggest hedge funds in the United States, it's top five, left for Miami. Now the CMB group, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, this is the backbone of Chicago. This is why Chicago is such an important finance hub because all of those stock and options and future orders get routed to Chicago. That Robinhood app they use, yeah, the orders go to Chicago. But if all of these guys, like for example, the Mercantile Exchange Group leaves for a place like Texas and Florida, what does Chicago have left? Nothing. They're destroying some of their biggest businesses. They don't care about these big businesses. But when tax day comes and they don't have any more companies or small businesses to tax, Chicago goes broke. And a lot of people are starting to notice that. A lot of Chicago citizens are sick and tired of the current administration. You spend hundreds of millions of dollars for the migrant crisis, but you not spend a single penny on people who are in need. The migrant prices push me over the edge says a woman from Chicago who was a lifelong Democrat until what she saw is happening in Chicago. The migrant crisis is destroying Chicago. Chicago is spending every penny of the migrant crisis, but nothing for people like her. And by the way, people who live in food deserts, for example, the South Side, who are begging for a fresh produce grocery store, even if they don't make money, I think Chicago should still provide it. It's such a rich city, they could at least spend five or $10 million on it, but they'd rather spend five or $10 million on the migrant crisis. Chicago residents are really, really mad. I mean, there's countless of these videos on X that you could watch. Basically, a lot of these Chicago residents go off on the mayor and the city council. Chicago residents are slamming the local politicians over the migrant crisis. They're sick and tired of this. They all say the same thing. 
They pay their fair share of taxes, which is extremely high, but no services or nothing good ever trickles down to them. All the money is being spent on the migrant crisis, nothing on them. Can you imagine $300 million being spent on the south side of Chicago? It will actually be somewhat of a decent place to live. If Chicago spends hundreds of millions of dollars in supporting local businesses and cutting down on crime, cutting down on shoplifting, I guarantee you the south side of Chicago will flourish pretty well. But instead, Chicago would rather spend that money in the migrant crisis, which is making a lot of these residents super mad and super angry. Can Chicago recover from this? I don't know. Let's see what happens.